Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday evening out there. I know I normally have not been making a lot of videos on Friday evenings as of late, but I thought I'd jump on here and make a very quick video to talk about what has happened today. Not really necessarily what is happening right now. Of course, we're going to talk about that also, but it's been a very interesting day along the southeast coastline of Georgia, South Carolina, places like that. We've had a nice little spin off the coast of uh, Georgia and South Carolina. And I tell you what, it really looks like a sheared tropical system. Sheared meaning it's being affected by a lot of the upper level winds aloft, but it's not technically, but it certainly looks like it. So we're going to take a look at that and talk about what it's kind of done today, what it's doing right now, and just give you guys an update on what is happening. We'll briefly talk about the severe weather threat tomorrow. But honestly, guys, I'm not going to hold you guys up very long as you start kickstart your uh, 4th of July weekend. But if you guys have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. If you guys got anything that I can pray about or pray over, please put it in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it. And it gives a whole lot of other people an opportunity to do so, too. So let's look out for one another and glorify God doing it. So let's get rolling. So first off, uh, this the Hurricane Center, uh, <laughs> the National Hurricane Center, per the latest five or technically 4.33 Eastern Time update, they made this area of interest here. 10% uh, chance this will not be a thing anymore once we probably get into the next 48 hours. But it's saying, hey, there's a 10% chance this little spin, and there is a spin, literally, off the coast of the southeast could potentially develop. Then we finally got Tropical Storm Bonnie today. And I tell you what, Bonnie looks pretty healthy. Uh, it might get upgraded to a 50 mile per hour storm, 55 mile per hour storm just before landfall. And uh, near the Costa Rica area and down there in Central America. Um, and then you still have this little tropical wave that's starting to enter the Eastern Caribbean. So in general, uh, pretty uh, calm weather, not, not a whole lot going on. We'll look at the cone of what's going on with this. Uh, Nicaragua is going to get impacted. Areas of coast of northern Costa Rica will certainly be impacted over the next 24 hours. This will get into the Eastern Pacific and then pretty much turn into a hurricane out there and not really bother anybody. But let's take a look at this right now. It's very healthy. It's starting to look much more symmetrical. It's just looking a lot more like a tropical storm. It's finally taking advantage of some environmental factors at bay. But unfortunately for the tropical system, it is about to interact with land as it's heading right towards it. So a weakening will begin for a short period of time as it crosses over a pretty small area of land before it reaches the Pacific Ocean. So moving forward here, really what's been interesting today, honestly, is uh, this right here. Check this out. Look at this little spin right here. This is South Carolina, obviously, Georgia, North Carolina, Florida. So this is um, a little um, quick uh, gif, if you will, of what is going on per over the last really 30 minutes or so. And you see this little surface spin right here, this little low-level circulation. Earlier, it was right over here, and it looked like it was drifting actually further back out into the ocean. I made a post on Twitter, made a lot of posts actually, about, hey, if it drifts a little bit too, too a little bit further east, it's going to get back over the Gulf Stream, which probably streams, uh, probably runs right along this area off the coast of the southeast. And if it would have done that, a little bit warmer waters. But in general, this is getting sheared. Uh, pretty good on the entire northern end of the storm. So therefore, uh, it would have tampered any kind of significant and quick development from this, I really think so. But a lot of tropical moisture really firing up along the southeast today. Uh, nothing really severe, but some big time tropical downpours have really been firing up here. And you look at the radar scope right now. I made a funny post. Uh, I wasn't serious or anything like that, but talking about how the, um, and this is actually an invest too. It's a 96L invest. Uh, not deemed a depression or anything or storm. We, we, you know, this would be a much bigger topic if that was the case. But this is Charleston. This is Edisto Island uh, down here near Hilton Head. Then we start to get near Tybee Island, Savannah. Uh, but this is the main spin right here. Like I said, it actually drifted over here earlier. And then that circulation kind of got dominated by kind of a mid-level, uh, the mid-level convection or, or basically just a mid-level spin. And basically that kind of weakened and was replaced by this spin right into here. So you got a little bit of a spin going on right in here. We get a little bit closer here. And um, kind of the joke I was making is uh, it looks like Edisto Beach and um, 
And only getting into Folly Beach now is getting hit hard by Hurricane Invest 96L. This is not a hurricane, but it's certainly if there was any kind of interior structure of the circulation of the storm, this is it. So, you know, if you're camping on Edisto Beach, it's a big camping area, or anywhere on these uh, coastal islands, you are certainly experiencing some nasty weather this evening. You know, if you're uh, at Folly Beach for the 4th of July, a nasty rain band is about to move into your area. It's definitely a soggy start to your 4th of July weekend. And then Charleston. I'm worrying about Charleston here in the next hour. Uh, this is going to be a slow moving circulation that continues to wrap in this banding feature into Charleston. So flooding could actually become an issue within the next couple hours and this evening in general. This will continue to ride the coast. Let's get a little bit closer here. This will continue to actually ride the coast and probably skirt into areas of Myrtle Beach into the evening hours. This is moving very slow, but this is a pretty impressive spin right into here. It looked even more impressive earlier. If you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, I made a lot of posts, but you had what looked like a wholesale eye trying to form out here off the coast of Savannah. So it was really impressive, but a very interesting day. It's just that time of the year where you certainly have spins that really flare up. It seems like it happens once a year. It really does where you'll have something that's getting talked about a little bit and then suddenly, okay, this has a chance to develop and then suddenly it does develop and you have a, a tropical storm uh, Danny or something like what happened last year or something like that or tropical storm Bertha. And, you know, it, it happens so quick. It really does. And sometimes these can have some defined circulation. Uh, but anyways, as far as what's going to happen kind of the rest of the evening and uh, I know this this screen is kind of small for you guys but if you look down here here's the circulation a triple R model is doing an absolutely horrible job picking up in any convection but in general just some heavy rain bands throughout the overnight hours into Myrtle Beach Wilmington all the way probably back in Florence I can tell you it'll probably be more moisture into this area than what the H triple R model is showing but in general you'll wake up to a pretty soggy and cloudy and wet uh, uh, probably morning for areas of North Carolina, the coastal, the coast, the coastline of North Carolina, and then you'll just get some uh, more showers and storms popping up, basically from an entire different system back here to the west. But in general, that's pretty much it. We're not expecting this to develop into a named storm, which I believe would be Colin. I think that's the next named storm. But tomorrow, we could certainly have some severe weather uh, for some pretty big cities like Boston, New York City, Baltimore, Washington D.C. Uh, Philadelphia, the whole entire I-95 corridor up here in the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast could see some nasty storms tomorrow with a, uh, basically an, an upper trough swinging through Southeast Canada. Uh, so we'll see what this does. We'll talk about this in the morning, but that's all I got, guys. I hope you guys have an awesome start to your weekend. Have a great Friday evening out there. Stay safe, especially for areas that are getting hit hard by maybe some flooding. But other than that, pretty quiet start to your 4th of July weekend. God bless, and I'll talk to you all in the morning.